Hi everyone, this is Victoria from Kiefer Consulting. So today's video, we're going to add a task slash planner tab onto your Teams and I'll show you how to use it. So I already have it, but if you don't already, there's a plus sign on the top of your Teams and you're gonna go ahead and click it. And if you don't have it already, it's listed right here called task by planner and to do. And there are a bunch of other tabs that we can add as well that are third party and are Microsoft integrated. So here we see our planner view. So it's grouped into buckets. So the default is a to do bucket. And then I added an incomplete and complete. So this could be changed at any time. And so you can also add more buckets as well. So we'll keep it as to do, incomplete, incomplete. And so I added a task, bill customer. And then when you click on the task, we can group it by bucket again, and then show the progress, which priority it is, let's say urgent, start date, today, due date on the 12th, and then you can write notes. And then as you're going, you can do, you can do a checklist. And so you can also add attachments and comments. And then same thing for in the incomplete but bucket and then complete bucket. And once it's done, you can just go ahead and drag it. So once it moves in the stages, you can just drag and drop. And then on the right hand side, there are four views, list, board, charts, and schedule. So you can show it as list view or as a board or also as a chart of what has been started, what's late, what's completed. And then it goes in a calendar view as well, of what the tasks are for managing your time, managing people. And then you can also see it in group by bucket as well. So let's go back to the board view and assign to. So as more people come up, there would be more buckets and the progress. And then also due date, label, labels and priority. And that's how you complete and manage tasks on your task planner.